Now, here's my light switch project, V2. Uh, let me just plug the sucker in. This is not very fixed, not very well fixed. I don't know what you want to say, but it's not secure. I don't know where I felt like I could get a little drink around. So I'll say that. But he now has emotions. I don't know if I could kind of zoom in on his face without having the light be stupid. But, uh... As you can see, he's getting annoyed. His eyes starting to twitch. <laughs> Whoa, focus, camera. Focus! Alright, there we go. He's now angry. Really angry. Oh man. Aw, oh, he's sad. He's sad. <laughs> oh. I think I broke him, guys. I think he's crying. Well, guys, I think I broke him. Uh, I'll leave him alone, but at least my light is now on. A few moments later. Two thousand years later. Uh -uh. Now, I'm going to do my best explaining this to you, but I'm not making any promises. So. This project uses a servo library, two OLED libraries, and one demented coder. The last one's optional, but highly recommended. Starting with the animations, I was able to turn my 64x64 pixel drawings into bytes using image to CPP. It's on Google. What this means is that I was able to turn my crappy pictures into language that the Arduino could understand via hexadecimal. If you don't know what that is, you better go watch my other video that took me forever to make. It explains everything regarding number systems. Also, image to CPP is fairly simple to understand if you want to put your pictures into your OLED. Simply upload your picture, select your background color that is in the picture, and you can invert the color if you'd like, but you don't need to. And finally, select the plain bytes in the code output format option and click generate code. Once the hex bitmap is generated, copy it and use it in your code. After I did my animations, I had to create the crappy algorithm, which just counts the number of times the switch goes back and forth. And going through each stage of emotion while acting slightly different, like how in the sad stage I made it move slowly and in the crying stage I made random time generator so the crying stage would just reset after it reached it now to make the reaction a little more realistic I just introduced randomness into the target number and timing so if you want me to explain more about the OLED and how you could code your own OLED just comment down below I'll see if I can make a separate video but uh... I'm done with this video because it's getting long enough and I'm tired. <laughs> so see you in the next one.